Hello everybody, this is Pierre Girudi and tonight I'm going to answer another question which I received through the social media and the question is Does banning WeChat impact luxury brands? First, what is WeChat? WeChat provides text messaging, voice messaging, one to many, video calls and conferencing, video games and video sharing, as well as location sharing, and also WeChat Pay. So you can buy things through the WeChat, which is an app, is a Chinese app. There are some American brands like Ralph Lauren, Michael Kors have sold through WeChat for years. And even some designer brands advertise on WeChat like Dior in order to reach Chinese luxury buyers in mainland and overseas. As we already know, Chinese luxury consumers are the biggest market for luxury brands. So the main luxury sales right now is coming from China. Therefore, WeChat play a role by way of advertising to relay luxury brands information to Chinese consumers. Also, many Chinese tourists and expat as well as students using WeChat and they purchase luxury brands through it. The biggest impact would be outside of mainland China rather than inside. It means no one in US would be able to sell luxury item to Chinese in mainland China or any other country from US lands. WeChat has more than 19 million users in the US, including Chinese tourists, students, and expats, according to WeChat statistics. WeChat Pay is also accepted by many US stores like Fendi, Rebecca Minkoff, Macy's, American Eagle, Lacoste, and some other stores. There are so many apps that can easily replace WeChats. It may create inconveniency for the Chinese tourists, which right now there is no tourist, so tourist doesn't exist because of pandemic, and Chinese expats or students who are living in US. Chinese consumer made up more than a third of total global luxury spending last year, and only 9% of luxury sales happened in mainland China in 2019. With pandemic right now in place, most sales of luxury brands right now happening in mainland China. So naturally, there is no Chinese tourists anywhere outside of China. Therefore, there is a flurry of investment by all luxury brand in mainland China, either by making the stores bigger or they expand their digital sales or their digital advertising or opening more stores in the cities they don't have. So with banning of WeChat Pay, Chinese will move to Alipay, which is the main competitor of WeChat Pay. Now, quote of the day. Growth is painful, change is painful, but nothing is as painful as staying stuck somewhere you don't belong. 
I hope you like the video. I hope I could answer the question and add some value. So if you like it, please smash the like button, subscribe it, share it, and leave your comments. On the comments, your suggestions, your remarks, your questions, or your critics. I will try to answer all of them. So good night. See you tomorrow night with another question and another answer. Bye.